It's been a tough few years for all of us, and a lot of people are feeling overwhelmed. And while being overwhelmed is a pretty common feeling, there are some ways to overcome it. And that's where our health and wellness contributor, Erica Ballard, comes in. And uh, Erica, I know I feel overwhelmed when I have too much on my plate. Uh, tell us about when and who most often feels overwhelmed. You are not alone. You are not alone. So thank you so much for having this conversation. And to answer your question, we feel overwhelmed when we have too much to do or we're in the process of doing too much. And while everyone can experience overwhelm, the reality is women are facing overwhelm at a higher rate than men right now, with some studies showing that women are 50% more stressed out than men today. Interesting. And what does the feeling of being overwhelmed do to our bodies? This is such an important question because overwhelm is not good for our bodies. And it's not good for our bodies because it places a massive amount of stress on us. And when that happens, it kicks us into fight or flight or freeze mode, which inhibits our ability to focus on anything outside of survival, which is really important to note because most of us were conditioned to believe that accomplishing our to-do list is what's gonna get us out of overwhelm. But the reality is the more that we, um, the more that we try to finish our to-do list, the longer we prolong our overwhelm. Right, which I'm sure makes it worse. Um, so tell us what's the best way to overcome that feeling. The thing to do is to rest, which I know sounds borderline impossible <laughs> and also counterintuitive given everything I just said, i.e. that we're conditioned to believe that accomplishing our to-do list is what's gonna get us out of overwhelm. But the reality is rest is the body's cue that it can move out of survival and into thriving. That's why if you're experiencing overwhelm right now, you really want to rest. And that can look like a few deep breaths. It can look like vegging out on the couch. It can look like a nap. It can look also like taking a day or a week off of work. Absolutely. Um, are there any other steps people can take or anything else you want people to think about or know with this? There's two things, actually. The first is I do want to acknowledge with women that the reason why studies are showing we are carrying this additional um, overwhelm is because we tend to carry an additional load or additional me mental load compared to our male counterparts. So that looks like scheduling soccer games and doctor's appointments and things like that for my family members. It looks like organizing dinners and meals and grocery lists for family me members. And it also looks like playing chief medical officer and in-home therapist for family members. And so one of the ways also in addition to rest to get rid or to rid ourselves of overwhelm is to let some of those things drop. And the other thing I wanna say is that if you don't take my advice, I want to remind you that it's based in biology and in a game between biology and willpower, biology usually wins. Yeah, sometimes it's tough to delegate, but it's so important to put some of those things off to other people to help out, so. Well, thanks so much, Erica, for your advice. We really appreciate it. We'll be right back.